Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to start with lecture number six and the course is uh, Natural Source Planning and Management. Hope by now you have understood that what the course is about and what we are going to study in future also. And if you have any problems, if you have any questions, just go through the lectures, go through the course book and you will see that everything is very much present there. Now, uh, before we go uh, into today's lecture, let me just have a recap that what we started in the last lecture. We talked about that how we actually plan, then we moved on to different planning models. And in planning models, the two important models is one is participatory and another one is totally autonomous and it is totally independent without the public participation. And the uh, model that we discussed in the last lecture was comprehensive rational planning. And in this model, usually it's uh, the without the public participation and people are not involved into it. We talked about that what are the pros and cons of this model, what is the planning process, why people are not involved, and what are the rationalities behind such model. Usually in the government agencies, we find such comprehensive rational planning. But as the time is passing on, we see that this uh, comprehensive rational planning is now molding into a different form of model where now people are going to be involved into it, which is more of a participatory approach. So therefore, now we move on to uh, the next uh, lecture and that is our other model which we call them as transactive planning. Now, planning is a very interesting activity. As we uh, already talked about that in the past, one person is doing it or one body is doing it, but it, that body's objective is the welfare of the people. But if you see that one person doing planning, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Obviously, if one person is doing all the planning tasks, whom we call him as a planner, things will be difficult because he needs to have all the information what people want at the grassroots levels. But usually planning is done in the team form. Why? Because teams are better. Because one person cannot have all the expertise. Because one person is unable to devote maximum time into it. And remember that planning we are doing it for the future. This is one of the tools in which we can forecast future, right? So it is pretty crucial. Now, the criticism in the last model, in the rational model, what we were talking about, that we are, for whom we are doing this planning? We are doing this planning for public. We are doing this planning for people. And if people's voice is not included into this planning process, then the issue comes that for whom the planning is being done? Either the planning good for them or the planning achieves its objective of sustainability or not. Is the long term objective as we talked about that there are uh, the natural resource objectives, natural resource management objectives has to be in line with the societal objectives. Is there, is it present over there or not? Are the planners even thinking about those perspectives or not? So therefore, uh, because of those loopholes, because of that one man planning, because of that one body planning, now we moved on to another form of planning that is transactive planning. It is one of the alternatives towards the comprehensive rational planning which is totally opposite. It's based on, the word is uh, communicative rationality. Let me just see, this one. communicative rationality. Now in communicative rationality, let's see that in economics or in uh, the start of the lectures when we started off this course, I talked about the rationality and economics always says that man is rational. And then I talked about that whether he's really rational or not, that, that is a different controversy. But 
what is rationality rationality is somewhat reasoning rationality is somewhat when you are dealing with the facts rationality is somewhat when you are making decisions with some reasons now communicative rationality is basically that it is basically coming up from the word of communication that my rationality will come my reasoning will come when i'm communicating jab main baat kar raha hu so this type of rationality is based on human communication and a dialogue between planners and people affected by planning theek hai to wo jo people affected by planning hai wohi hamare you can say that these are our stakeholders because for them the planning is being done and the person who is doing the planning that is the planner ab in dono ke darmiyan kya ho rahi hoti communication ho rahi hoti hai so that's why we call it as the communicative rationality ke reasoning jo hai wo aati hai while we are talking with each other theek hai so always remember ke this kind of rationality was not present in this uh, alternative uh, uh, comprehensive rational planning but in this transactive planning the communicative rationality is one of the key points how it differs from there because yahan pe jo hamari reasoning hai wo kis tarah aati hai because the two parties are interacting with each other the two parties are communicating with each other now whenever the the way our uh, lecture flows is ke sabse pehle we always talk about the definition then we talk about the central assumption okay what is the main assumption into it सेंट्रल एजम्पन हमारी क्या है दैट देर आर वेरियस इंटरेस्ट दैट एग्जिस्ट विद इन द सोसाइटी मेरी प्रायोरिटी और है आपकी प्रायोरिटी और है देर आर डिफरेंट इंटरेस्ट सो द इंटरेस्ट हैज टू बी देर दैट इज द मेन सेंट्रल एजम्पन द सेकेंड वन इज कि जो कम्युनिकेशन एज यू टॉक्ट अबाउट दैट इट टॉक्स अबाउट कम्युनिकेटिव रैशनैलिटी so this interpersonal dialogue jo hota hai between the planner and the people or the stakeholders triggers a mutual learning process maybe the planner is unaware what people want or maybe people are unaware what how the planner is thinking theek hai to isse kya ho jata hai aapka mutual learning process trigger ho jata hai start ho jata hai and which leads to intensive कम्युनिकेशन अबाउट मेजर्स अब ये मेजर्स क्या है कि जी हमारी प्लानिंग कैसे होनी चाहिए किस किस का इंटरेस्ट उसके अंदर आना चाहिए हाउ थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू वर्क आउट बिटवीन देम उसके बाद फ्यूचर को आप किस तरह फोरकास्ट करते हैं ऑब्जेक्टिव अगर आप सेट करते हैं वॉट काइंड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव आर दे आर दे शॉर्ट टर्म ऑब्जेक्टिव लॉन्ग टर्म ऑब्जेक्टिव आर दे अलाइंड विद द सोसाइटल ऑब्जेक्टिव सो ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ डिस्कोर्स इज हैपनिंग बिटवीन द प्लानर एंड द पीपल so this is the central assumption ki first wali hamari aa jati hai ki unka koi interest hai without interest planning nahi hogi theek hai na if i am not interested that okay i want to learn something new if i am not interested i want to go somewhere i won't plan if i am uh, planning that okay if i have an interest that okay i am a professor and i want to teach the course tab main plan karunga ki ji maine course mein kya likhna hai what i have to present in the what is should be the presentation material what kind of questions to be uh, given to students theek hai because i have interest theek so the first part is your interest and the second part is your communication and the communication between the planner and the people and which triggers yani which leads to discussion which leads to dialogue taaki aapko pata chalta hai that what the two parties are thinking and this process continues until both of them are on the same page now wo hamari thi central assumptions now we come on to the assumptions and the role of the planner theek hai yahan pe this time in the past uh, one we were talking about that planner is uh, has knowledge he has technological knowledge wo quantitative methods lagata hai qualitative lagata hai and he is doing all kind of uh, planning he is uh, looking into all kind of alternatives but over here in this transactive planning what he is doing is the planners act as supporters theek hai they act as supporters and participants among many तो जब मैंने कह दिया सपोर्टर्स तो इट मीन्स दैट दे आर फेवरिंग दिस प्लानिंग ठीक है 
and when I say that they are participants it means that they are also part of the planning process they are not just leading they are also part of the planning process in which they are having dialogue in which they are having communication with the people second hamara aa jata hai that equipped with technical knowledge planner needs to be equipped with technical knowledge he needs to be communicative theek hai and group psychological skills knowledge now when you are dealing with one person it's easy जब आप डिफरेंट लोगों के साथ डील कर रहे हैं डिफरेंट इंटरेस्ट ग्रुप्स के साथ डील कर रहे हैं तो यू नीड टू हैव दिस पीपल स्किल्स आल्सो आपके पास होनी चाहिए यू नीड टू हैव ग्रुप स्किल्स होने चाहिए सो दैट यू नो हाउ टू इंटरेक्ट विद पीपल बिकॉज इन दिस फॉर्म ऑफ प्लानिंग देर इज नॉट इट्स नॉट अ वन मैन शो एवरी इज ऑल टूगेदर ठीक है सो प्लानर्स आर एबल टू रिड्यूस द डिस्पैरिटीज बिटवीन द पार्टिसिपेंट एंड रीच कंसेंसिस Again, revert to the first point, जहां पर हम उसको कहते हैं ही इज अ पार्टिसिपेंट ही इज अ सपोर्टर तो वो क्या कर रहा है इस प्लानिंग प्रोसेस को फेसिलिटेट कर रहा है फेसिलिटेट ऑन वॉट बेसिस बिकॉज ही हैज द टेक्निकल स्किल्स ही इज एन एक्सपर्ट सेकेंडली दैट ही इज इंटरक्टिंग ही इज अ सैंडविच बिटवीन द पीपल उसके बाद थर्ड दैट ही नोज हाउ टू इंटरक्ट इन अ ग्रुप उसके पास ग्रुप साइकोल ग्रुप स्किल्स हैं now why is he doing it he is doing it so that everyone reaches consensus and when we say it's a, uh, everyone reaches consensus it means ki it's a kind of a win win situation ye na ho ki bhi ek group ke liye favorable planning ho jaye dusre group ke liye favorable na ho then this is not a good planning theek hai wo jo objective hai going for transactive planning wo uska rational fail ho jata hai because we want to feel we want to create an environment where everyone is part of the process and everyone is happy about it theek hai so therefore planners ka uh, jo aa jati hai assumption aa jati hai ki ji number 1 ki ji he is a uh, supporter he is a participant and number 2 he is a facilitator in terms of uh, all this planning process and so that everyone can reach to a consensus now what is the role of planner planners are the center they are the center of systematic knowledge because he is knowledgeable ye nahi hum kehte ki koi bhi planner ban jata he is educated he has the technical capacity he has the knowledge for that and they also mediate between different interests and communication information between actors in the planning process ab uska kaam kya hai that he has to initiate the communication he has to facilitate the communication he has to bring people from all different interests with different priorities at the same page so that hamara jo document bane इट इज अ पार्टिसिपेटरी डॉक्यूमेंट ठीक है हमारा जो प्लानिंग प्रोसेस है इट इज वेरी मच डेमोक्रेटिक इट इज नॉट अ ऑटोक्रेटिक इन विच एवरी पार्टी थिंक्स दैट दे आर पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस नाउ वॉट वी हैव यूज इज जहां पर हम कहते हैं कि जी रोल ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन या रोल ऑफ द पब्लिक या रोल ऑफ द स्टेक होल्डर्स इट इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम थिंग सो द पॉपुलेशन इज सेंट्रल उसकी जो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है दैट इज मेन वाई बिकॉज प्लानिंग हो किसके लिए रही है इट इज फॉर द बिगर पीपल इट इज फॉर द बिगर पॉपुलेशन ठीक है एंड देर फॉर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दैट दिस पॉपुलेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड पॉपुलेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन सेंस बिकॉज नाउ पॉपुलेशन इज पार्ट ऑफ द प्लानिंग प्रोसेस ठीक है ना अब जो वो प्लानिंग प्रोसेस का हिस्सा बन जाते हैं तो दे आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग दे आर कम्युनिकेटिंग जो वही बात हमने की कम्युनिकेटिव rationality and when they are communicating to unka jo experience hota hai that is shared that becomes part of the planning wo apna traditional knowledge share karte hain maybe the planner has never been to an area jiske liye wo policy bana raha hai maybe the planner has no idea how this forest work how the community works so what we are doing is that ki we involve people into it and people share their experiences people share their knowledge and people are central part population theek okay? hai then uh, when people become part of this planning process theek okay, hai na when people are uh, feel that they are part of this process they uh, participate actively 
they stir up the discussions so therefore it is very important to have people it is very important to have people with different interest groups it is very important to have people uh, sharing their traditional knowledge now we talk about planning process okay, how the process works the main part is okay, in the previous one the planning process worked with centralization top top to bottom over here it is decentralized any bottom up here people are also into the process then it's not a closed uh, environment it's an open atmosphere the expertise the planner and the experimental knowledge of the population are combined any planner ka bhi knowledge population ke experiences unko hum kya karte hain communication hoti hai exchange of ideas hote hain and by that time they are transformed into shared measures we are making our objectives we are making our strategies we are initiating this uh, planning process so is ke andar both the parties are involved and there is an open environment theek hai we can't say it's a, the people are involved in terms of kun we force kiya gaya no that is not it is volunteer people are participating into it out of without any obligation now the planning process ko hum characterize kis tarike se karte hain there are four points number 1 interpersonal dialogue and mutual learning interpersonal dialogue is that both the parties are communicating as you have already discussed mutual learning that both of them are learning from each other the planner have no idea how these communities live how the population lives or what kind of uh, adaptive measures and natural source ke sath unka kaisa relationship hai to people ye population wo share kar rahe the and the planner is telling them that okay how to put them into framework what is the long term visioning what kind of resources they can talk about so it's a mutual exchange of ideas then a central focus on uh, individual and organizational development yahan pe ab hum kis pe baat kar rahe hain we are talking about individual theek hai the focus is on individual by individual we mean the population ke humans pe and the organizational development then third one ki ji wahan pe kya hoti hai partnership building hoti hai partnerships create karte hain and there is a very famous thing wo kehte hain ji when the parties are working with each other when two or more people are working with each other remember do not go for relationship go for a partnership why a partnership partnership mein ye hota hai that i also have a stake in it you also have a stake in it and we both are working towards the same goal relationship mein kya ho jata hai that it's basically just a transaction for example ek uh, नेचुरल सोर्स के ऊपर द टू पार्टीज आर हैविंग अ डायलॉग वो कहते हैं जी आप इतने बजे आया करें फॉर टू फीड योर कैटल हम इतने बजे आएंगे नो दिस इज डू द केयर अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर ग्रीन रिसोर्स फ्रॉम विच दे आर गेटिंग दीज ऑफ दिस फॉर नो दे डोंट बिकॉज इट्स जस्ट अ रिलेशनशिप इट्स जस्ट अ ट्रांजेक्शन ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ टाइम यू कम फ्रॉम नाइनटी फाइव आई कम फ्रॉम फाइव टू टेन फॉर एग्जाम्पल नो दैट इज नॉट but if it's a partnership when both are working together when both have the same objective they will also start going for conservation efforts so therefore both the things work together after partnership building we talk about the in cooperation of the traditional knowledge maine aapko pehle hi bataya tha that uh, there's one philosopher gayatri spivak she said that when you go in communities try to learn from below ke bhi i might be very educated but there are certain things that make other people distinct there are certain ways in which makes other people different from us now i can't just say ki main bahar se aaya hu i have more knowledge and i am going to impose that knowledge on you because my knowledge is much more superior the day i the planner start thinking like that aapka planning process fail ho jayega he has to be very humble he has to be a good listener because in this we are asking that people should participate in the decision in this uh, planning process so when people start participating ek jo bada key 
इनपुट होता है दैट इज शेयरिंग ऑफ देयर ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज व्हिच वी आर अन अवेयर बिकॉज वी नेवर लिव्ड देयर बिकॉज वी हैड नो एक्सपीरियंस ओवर देयर बिकॉज वी हैव फेस्ड दैट प्रॉब्लम ठीक है ना वी आर अपॉइंटेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट वी आर अपॉइंटेड बाय द सिविल सोसाइटी दैट ओके यू आर द पर्सन हु इज गोइंग टू प्लान मे बी प्रॉबिलिटी हायर यही होती है दैट यू आई डोंट नो अबाउट द रीजन सो नाउ ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज क्या हो जाता है दैट इज ऑल्सो बिकम पार्ट ऑफ द प्लानिंग प्रोसेस देन हमारा प्लानिंग प्रोसेस कैसा चलता है इन द प्लानिंग प्रोसेस वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ये प्लानिंग इस वाले मॉडल में ट्रांजेक्टिव मॉडल में इट इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी लेस एज अ साइंटिफिक टेक्निकल एक्टिविटी कोई हमने मॉडल्स नहीं बनाए कोई हमने क्वान्टिटिव थिंग्स नहीं की कोई ग्राफ्स चार्ट नहीं बना रहे ठीक है इट इज मोर ऑफ अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव एज कंपेयर टू ये जो कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव प्लानिंग के अंदर हमने किया था कि जो क्वान्टिटिव फिर क्वालिटेटिव ज़्यादा हम क्वान्टिफाई कर देते हैं मॉडल्स बनाते हैं बट वो है नथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट साइंटिफिक एक्टिविटी नहीं होती यहाँ पे प्लानिंग हम क्या कर रहे हैं इट इज़ बींग फेस टू फेस over there people are sitting population is sitting over here planner is sitting and they are talking and they are interacting with each other aur kis ke dar mein interaction ho rahi hoti hai the stakeholders people who are being affected by the plans so it's more of a mutual discussion so uh in tra transactive planning what we are saying that planning is more subjective objective nahi hai theek hai na we can't just say that it's the number game no it's more of a subjective as compared to an objective process now there is a criticism and criticism on it is that participation takes time which parts of the population do not have especially the poorer ones and their interests may be ignored sabse pehli baat ke the key feature of this uh, planning model is that it's participatory right but participation may if i just announce ke okay i am going to make uh, i'm going to go for some planning thing come on let's sit together i is everyone going to come obviously stakeholders are there they are affected by the planning but do people have time do people have that uh, incentive do people have that uh, interest in that ठीक है दैट इज वेरी इट इज वन ऑफ द क्रिटिसिजम जी द पुअर आर मोर कंसर्न विद अदर नीड्स उनको क्या लगे कि जी हमने लॉन्ग टर्म प्लानिंग में क्या होना है किस तरीके से रिसोर्स आएंगे सो उनकी पार्टिसिपेशन कम हो जाती है एंड पुअर आर द पीपल हु आर मोर डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज देर इज अ वेरी हाई पार्टिसिपेशन कॉस्ट पार्टिसिपेट करने के लिए देर इज अ कॉस्ट इज नॉट जस्ट द फाइनेंशियल कॉस्ट इट्स द कॉस्ट ऑफ द टाइम कॉस्ट ऑल्सो ठीक है ना उसकी पार्टिसिपेटरी कॉस्ट बहुत हाई होती है इस मॉडल में एंड मे बी पॉपुलेशन जब आती है इस प्लानिंग प्रोसेस में दे आर नॉट विलिंग और दे आर नॉट रेडी फॉर द लॉन्ग रन एंड दे माइट से लेट्स पोस्ट ऑन द लॉन्ग रन गोल्स हम से शॉर्ट टर्म पे खुश हो जाते हैं सो दे फोर दीज आर थ्री मेजर क्रिटिसिज ऑन दिस मॉडल नंबर वन इज के पार्टिसिपेशन टेक्स टाइम पुअर इग्नोर हो सकते हैं नंबर टू इज आपकी पार्टिसिपेटरी कॉस्ट बहुत हाई होती हैं एंड नंबर थ्री इज दैट पॉपुलेशन मे नॉट बी प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट एंड इफ पॉपुलेशन इज नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर द लॉन्ग रन देन देर इज द कॉन्सेप्ट सस्टेनेबिलिटी वगैरह दैट गेट्स लॉस्ट नाउ आफ्टर स्टार्टिंग दिस कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव रैशनल प्लानिंग ट्रांजेक्टिव प्लानिंग नाउ वी कम टू वर्ड्स इंक्रीमेंटल प्लानिंग दिस इज द थर्ड वन इंक्रीमेंटल प्लानिंग नाउ वॉट इज एन इंक्रीमेंटल प्लानिंग दैट इट्स बेसिकली द मोस्ट वाइडली नोटेड आल्टरनेटिव मॉडल टू कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव रैशनल प्लानिंग अगेन इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्टिव प्लानिंग लेकिन अब इंक्रीमेंटल प्लानिंग इज अ लिटल बिट डिफरेंट एज कंपेयर टू द कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव रैशनल प्लानिंग अब वो क्या है दैट पीछे हमने क्या पढ़ा कम्युनिकेटिव रैशनैलिटी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अनदर काइंड ऑफ रैशनैलिटी विच इज वॉट दैट इज बाउंडेड इंस्ट्रूमेंट रैशनैलिटी दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट अपनी ये रैशनैलिटीज वाले कॉन्सेप्ट को आप याद रखिएगा ओवर है दिस इज अ बाउंडेड रैशनैलिटी अब बाउंडेड का क्या मतलब होता है दैट वी आर रिस्ट्रिक्टेड बाउंड हुए हुए हैं ठीक है 
uh, what are those restrictions? There was a professor, Charles Lind Bloom. Charles Lind Bloom ne ek badi famous uh, ye book likhi that was Muddling Through. Or in 1959 ke usne published ki. What was the major theme into it? Muddling Through ka matlab hota hai baby steps. Chote, chote, chote. Or incremental ka bhi kya matlab hota hai? Thoda, thoda. Now, the assumption is, or the, or the, uh, the main thought, the gist behind is, ke ji, jo planner hai, uski kya hai? Bounded rationality hai. Bounded rationality is, ke theek hai, we make decisions by reasoning. Lekin decisions jab aap reasoning ke saath kar rahe ho, to you need to have information. Theek? Now, if you have limited information, if you have limited time, if you have limited cost, to how, what kind of planning would that be? So, what is our reasoning? What is bounded? And what constraints hai, that actually don't let us to see uh, to go for a, a longer term or a very comprehensive planning because we are constrained. So, therefore, ye jo Lynn Bloom tha, he's a professor at Yale University. He said that uh, public administration gender, we go for incremental planning. Okay. Now, incremental planning kya hai? that planning is considered to be less a scientific technique Yaha pe, let me just show it to you it's less of a scientific technique which followed by concrete steps any steps is concrete hai. and this is important it is a mixture of intuition and experience in reality so yaha pe bhi hamari kya hai? subjectivity zyada hai अब उस subjectivity पे क्या हम कर रहे हैं? It is a mixture of intuition. You think, you feel कि जी ये चीज कर लेनी चाहिए. My experience. Now the way I will feel or the way I will think, are you going to think in the same manner? It is the same thing कि आप और मैं we are looking at the same picture. The way you will explain the picture, it is totally different and the way I will explain the picture it will be totally different why the question of bounded rationality meri boundaries farak hain aapki boundaries farak hain the way I think because my exposure to maybe to that thing is totally different your exposure your experience is totally different so the way we will interpret it will be totally different so we can't say that we know everything about it it is going to be bounded rationality. So therefore, it's not going to be scientific. It will be based on again on experience and on intuition. Now, in this, the everyday uh, life ki hamari planning ki jati hai rather than comprehensive rational plan. It's more of a regular everyday planning. Now, assumptions, the same uh, proto uh, protocol central assumptions kya hai? there is not a right solution as time money information and mental capabilities of planners are not sufficient what do you mean by this we will be teaching a concept but I have that in this no matter what aapki ek constraint hai time aapka constraint ho sakta hai, money aapka constraint ho sakta hai, information aapka constraint ho sakti hai aur aapki mental capability aap, uh, aapka constraint ho sakti hai. My IQ level is low, your IQ level is very high, so the way we will plan things it will be totally different. Okay? And in this form of planning only few options are evaluated, they are identified with differ or only marginally from each other as well from the existing situation. Yani hum thode kam alternatives lete hain which are very much not much different from each other lekin if you compare it with the rational planning maham bhe humne almost sare uh, alternatives liye the then we used some quantitative tools in order to assess that which alternative is good or bad. But over here what we are talking about that we are just taking few alternatives. Then there are different views and interests as well multiple problems participatory hai to obviously views har ek ke farak honge then interests har ek ke farak honge and there are going to be multiple problems 
big changes are carried out but best in little practicable steps over longer period leading to satisfying results ab again uh, come back to the word it is incremental aap thoda 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 change leke aa rahe hote theek hai big changes lekin very little aap revolutionary nahi karte aap evolutionary kaam kar rahe hain in incremental planning now assumptions and role of the planner the planner is considered to be bounded bounded rational who simplifies the complex world into easier model ye hai planner ka role often does not know the right problem and thus is not always able to determine clear definition of goals and measures why he is unable to identify the right problem right because he is limited बाउंडेड रैशनैलिटी का शिकार ठीक है सो देर फॉर वी माइड नॉट इवन नो द रियल प्रॉब्लम किसके लिए हम प्लानिंग कर रहे हैं तो इस वजह से फिर हमारा जो क्लियर डेफिनेशन ऑफ गोल्स और मेजर्स हैं वो भी एज सच क्लियर नहीं आते वी ट्राई टू फाइंड द सेटिस्फैक्ट्री सोल्यूशन राधर दैन द बेस्ट वन पीछे हम क्या बात कर रहे थे दैट वी वर लुकिंग फॉर द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन बट ओवर हेयर वी आर लुकिंग फॉर द सेटिस्फैक्ट्री सोल्यूशन विच फॉर द टाइमिंग सेटिस्फाई एवरी वन देन the planner is considered less than less as the expert theek hai his task is particularly to determine the type of problem to be solved and to mediate between different views and interests to reach a consensus kaam wahi kar raha hai lekin yahan pe his task is particularly to determine the type of problem aur usko kaise solve kiya jaye now what is the role of population In terms of role of population, the civil society, जो हमारी एन जी ओज वगैरह होती हैं कैन मेक अ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू प्लानिंग एज द प्रोवाइडर ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन क्योंकि वाई सिविल सोसाइटीज हैव द मैक्सिम इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज दे आर वर्किंग विद द कम्युनिटीज दे हैव द फर्स्ट हैंड इन्फॉर्मेशन दे आर फोर दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अब उनकी जो इन्फॉर्मेशन होती है दैट इज मोर क्रूशल दैट इज मोर क्लियर क्योंकि दे आर वर्किंग इन फील्ड विद द कम्युनिटीज अब यू हैव स्ट्रेटिजिक You have functional kind of participation. किस लिए ताकि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा information generate हो dialogue होगा लोग interact करेंगे लोग traditional knowledge share करते हैं so that is more uh, happening over there. And relieving administration. Administration को आप कहते हैं you take a rest now we are doing it. And increasing social acceptance. So that is the uh, role of population in participation. How the planning process works on planning is carried out more decentrally decentralized to hai it is more decentralized than in the rational planning both population and agencies are involved in planning population all the general the public and the agency the uh, uh, body which is doing the planning jahan pe planner hai aapka theek hai there is no clear determination of goal and objectives rather they are determined by the mixture of intuition experience rules of thumb and series of consultancies ke bhi aap milte hain interact karte hain aapke paas koi pet formula nahi hai that okay let's say these are the goals but goals have developed kaise kar rahe hain by these participatory meetings by these participatory actions experiences share karke theek hai now over here again just on the last case only few options are taken out and evaluated then and uh, analyzing and evaluation are distributed among more agencies and organizations within the society so jo hum analysis kar rahe hote hain jo hum evaluation kar rahe hain usme hum aur organizations ko bhi involve kar lete hain so that they are planning is more bullet proof planning process hamara kya hota hai that the problem is redefined in regular intervals kyunki hum incremental kar rahe hain change hoti rehti hai to hum problem ko kya kar rahe hote hain redefine karte rehte hain a satisfying solution is one for which substantial consensus can be attained agar aapke paas satisfying solution aa jata hai to fir hamara kya ho jata hai uh, aapke consensus generate ho jata hai satisfying not the best then 
द प्रोसेस इज ऑन गोइंग चेंज ये हमारा चलता रहता है क्योंकि हम क्या बात कर रहे हैं इंक्रीमेंटल आहिस्ता आहिस्ता बेबी स्टेप्स एंड ऑन गोइंग चेंज होती है ऑफ इंक्रीमेंटल डिसीजन एंड सिंपल एनालाइजिंग एंड मॉडलिंग टेक्निक्स एज वेल एज कम्युनिकेशन टेक्निक्स आर यूजिंग डू नॉट थिंक दैट वी आर यूजिंग द सफिस्टिकेटेड मॉडल्स द वे वी यूज इन द रैशनल मॉडलिंग बट ओवर हेयर सिंपल मॉडल्स कैन बी यूज यानी इट कैन बी क्वालिटेटिव एंड इट इज क्वान्टिटिव ऑल्सो अब इस पर क्रिटिसिज्म क्या हुआ क्रिटिसिज्म इस पर यह किया जाता है दैट नो रेडिकल चेंजेस आर पॉसिबल क्योंकि वी आर डूइंग दिस प्लानिंग वेरी छोटे 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 स्टेप्स में कर रहे हैं तो अगर कोई बड़ा एकदम रेडिकल स्टेप लेना है तो इस फॉर्म ऑफ प्लानिंग मॉडल में हम नहीं ले सकते सेकेंड सोल्यूशन कैन नॉट बी ऑप्टिमाइज क्योंकि वी आर नॉट गोइंग फॉर द बेस्ट वी आर जस्ट गोइंग फॉर द सेटिसफैक्ट्री एंड द फोकस इज ऑन वॉट कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड जब हम कहते फटाफट इम्प्लीमेंट आप कर दें देन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द शॉर्ट रॉन थिंग ठीक है अब आ जाता है द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आज मिक्सड स्कैनिंग this is also a planning model and what we are doing in the mixed scanning the mixed scanning model tries to ab ye bada interesting hai ki mixed aa gaya so iska matlab dono it is a flavor of both the worlds rational bhi or transactive ya incremental now in the what we are doing it is it involves strength of the rational planning model and the incremental model dono ki usne kya le li strength le li yani uske positives usne le li एंड टू एलिमिनेट द वीकनेसेज और जो दोनों की वीकनेस है उसको एलिमिनेट करने की कोशिश करते हैं कौन मिक्सड स्कैनिंग एंड इट इज बेस्ड अगेन ऑन बाउंडेड इंस्ट्रूमेंटल रैशनैलिटी बाउंडेड का यू नो दैट रिस्ट्रिक्टेड बाउंडिंग बाउंड्री है उसकी हमारी एग्जाम्पन्स क्या है मोस्ट इंक्रीमेंटल डिसीजन मे लीड टू फंडामेंटल चेंजेस ये हमारी एग्जाम्पन है कि भाई अगर आप ये इंक्रीमेंटल डिसीजन लेते हैं या प्लानिंग कर रहे हैं तो इट कैन लीड यू टू सम मेजर फंडामेंटल चेंजेस बट स्टिल द प्रोसेस इज एवोल्यूशनरी अब जो क्यूमलेटिव इफेक्ट होता है इसका ऑफ दोज ऑफ इंक्रीमेंटल डिसीजन दे आर इन्फ्लुंस्ड बाई द फंडामेंटल डिसीजन जो इंक्रीमेंटल डिसीजन है वो किससे इन्फ्लुंस हो जाती है फंडामेंटल डिसीजन से जो गवर्नमेंट ने कोई बड़ा मेजर स्टेप ले लिया है सो आर इंक्रीमेंटल प्लानिंग इज गोइंग टू बी अफेक्टेड बाई दैट नाउ एजम्पन्स क्या है एंड रोल ऑफ द प्लानर क्या है एजम्पन्स हमारी ये आ जाती हैं द प्लानर इज कंसिडर टू बी बाउंडेड रैशनल बींग आई डोंट हैव टू एक्सप्लेन बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू रिड्यूसिंग द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टू एन ईजियर मॉडल वो मॉडल को सिंप्लीफाई करना चाहता है सो दैट ज़्यादा चीज़ें कॉम्प्लेक्स ना लगें इफ यू रिमेंबर द चैलेंजेस उसके अंदर कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एक वॉज वन ऑफ दैम ठीक है बट नो लेसर दैन अ इंक्रीमेंटल प्लानर then second he oversees जो उसकी job होती है कि he oversees the whole situation and then he has to few consider few solutions and then it goes in detail not all the options not all the solutions just few solutions which are pertinent to that particular process then role of the population हमारी population का क्या role है now the civil society is active in planning its needs and wants have to be established during the consensus of building uh, consensus building process ji aapki jo civil society hai wo bada vibrant element hota hai so usko kya karna chahiye participate karwana chahiye and whatever is going on there need to be keep in loop now what is the planning process in the planning process what we are saying ki ji aapki decentralization bhi ho rahi hai aur isme population bhi involved hai aur agencies bhi involved hai so it's more of a transactive देन इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर्स हमारे क्या हैं नंबर वन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स क्योंकि प्लानिंग हो ही नहीं सकती जब तक आपने उसमें ऑब्जेक्टिव्स नहीं बनाए ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर सेट अंडर कंसल्टेशन विद सिविल सोसाइटी नाउ मैन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आर सेट इन कंसल्टेशन विद द सिविल सोसाइटी इट्स का मतलब नंबर वन इट इज पार्टिसिपेटरी प्रोसेस एंड नंबर टू के ऑब्जेक्टिव्स पे दोनों पार्टीज क्या होंगी अग्रीड होंगी क्योंकि दोनों ने मिल के बनाए हैं देन इंक्रीमेंटल डिसीजन आर मेड अंडर कंसल्टेशन विद पॉपुलेशन वाइल एट द सेम टाइम इंक्रीमेंटल डिसीजन जब भी हम ले रहे हैं हम किसको इन्वॉल्व कर रहे हैं पीपल को इन्वॉल्व करते हैं पब्लिक को इन्वॉल्व करते हैं बिकॉज देयर स्टेक इज वेरी मच इंक्लूडेड देन देर आर फ्यू फंडामेंटल डिसीजन विच आर मेड टू मार्क ह्यूज डिपार्चर फ्रॉम द एग्जिस्टिंग सिचुएशन कुछ हम मेजर डिसीजंस भी करते हैं जो कि आपके लिए बेहतर होती हैं दस 
planning is considered to be a mixture of scientific technique, intuition and experience. So, if we have to sum up what is the planning, it is your number one scientific technique, hai, number two your intuition hai, and number three your experience. Hai. Now, what are my planning units? Now, planning units are what are the planning units? Where you are planning on planning. Different our area units. Hai. अब एरिया यूनिट्स किस तरह हो सकते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं घरों की प्लानिंग कर रहा हूं अगर मैं म्युनिसिपैलिटी की प्लानिंग कर रहा हूं इवन इफ आई एम डूइंग इट फॉर द फॉरेस्ट एरिया दीस पॉसिबल यूनिट्स आर नोन एज माय प्लानिंग यूनिट्स क्योंकि अगर मैं फॉरेस्ट के लिए प्लानिंग कर रहा हूं तो वो मेरा एक प्लानिंग यूनिट है मैं हाउसिंग के लिए कर रहा हूं तो वो मेरा एक प्लानिंग यूनिट है तो यूजुअली हम डिवाइड क्या करते हैं हम दो क्राइटेरियाज पे इनको डिवाइड कर लेते हैं एंड व्हाट आर दोस क्राइटेरियाज नंबर 1 आपका एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एस्पेक्ट आ जाता है और नंबर 2 आपका नेचुरल एस्पेक्ट आ जाता है now what in the administrative aspect? Administrative aspect में हम वो वाले planning units कर रहे होते हैं जिनकी क्या है planning boundaries हैं जिनकी administrative boundaries आ जाती हैं for example global पाकिस्तान की एक अलग अपनी boundary है ठीक है that is administrative boundary then district level पे फिर communal level पे कि ये ये वाली village है ये ये वाली village है ये ये वाली village है अब हमने इसको क्या किया हुआ administratively divide किया हुआ है ठीक है अब यहां पे जो हमारे वो जो पॉइंट होता है उसको हम क्या कहते हैं एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एस्पेक्ट नंबर 2 हमारा क्या होता है दैट इज माय नेचुरल एस्पेक्ट नेचुरल एस्पेक्ट में क्या हम बात करते हैं इट इज डिलिनिएशन ऑफ प्लानिंग यूनिट्स कहां से अकॉर्डिंग टू नेचुरल फैक्टर्स अगर मैं फॉरेस्ट्स की बनाता हूं एक पॉलिसी सो दैट इज माय नेचुरल जोन दैट इज माय नेचुरल एस्पेक्ट अगर मैं किसी वाटर की कुछ करता हूं अगेन दैट इज नेचुरल इसके अंदर हमारा क्या है फॉरेस्ट एरियाज हैं माउंटेंस हैं वाटर है ये सारे आ जाते हैं आपके नेचुरल एस्पेक्ट्स के अंदर नाउ द इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट इज कि आप ये प्लानिंग में चूज कैसे करते हो ठीक है चूजिंग आप तभी करोगे फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम मेकिंग अ हाउसिंग के लिए कोई पॉलिसी बना रहा हूं तो मैं फॉरेस्ट को तो नहीं लेके आऊंगा या अगर मैं फॉरेस्ट के लिए बना रहा हूं तो मैं हाउसिंग को नहीं कंसीडर करूंगा इवन दो इफ यू रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड यू कि एवरी पॉलिसी इज इंटरएक्टिव विद ईच अदर इंटीग्रेटेड नेचुरल रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट इफ यू रिमेंबर ठीक है सो इसके अंदर क्या होता है दैट इट अज्यूम्स कि जी अगर आपने प्लानिंग करनी है तो आपने किस चीज की प्लानिंग करनी है ये हमें पता होना चाहिए फिर हम डिफाइन कर सकते हैं कि हमारा प्लानिंग यूनिट क्या होगा then if you want to plan the provision of a telephone net for a community the communal level is the most appropriate one and administrative planning sabse pehle hum telephone laga the telephone ki jab taar jayegi to it is more of administrative lekin humne kya kiya hua dono ko mix kiya hua dono ko join kiya hua dono kisme ki planning isko so that's why over here ke aapki community isme kya hoti hai involve hoti hai number 2 if you want to plan Natural resource management for the benefit of the people. The watershed management approach is the best. A watershed में क्या होता है कि there is a natural planning unit आपका बन जाता है. ठीक है हम planning units को हम पार हैं. Number three के other planning approaches assume other planning units. For example अगर मैं rural areas में जाऊँ तो मेरा rural planning unit होगा. ठीक है और इनको हम कहते हैं regional planning units. अब बात आती है that what are my tools for planning मैं planning को किस तरह करता हूँ नम there are three tools number one analyzing tools number two planning tools number three implementation tools now in order to plan first key ingredient is the planner कि भी planner कैसा होना चाहिए then how should be my people people भी आगे and then पीपल आगे किस पर्पस के लिए आप प्लान कर रहे हो कौन सा आपने टूल यूज करना हमने बात की थी कि वंस वी आर एनालाइजिंग द प्लानिंग सो देयर आर टू काइंड्स ऑफ टूल्स वन इज हम एंड द सेकंड वन इज राइट नाउ व्हाट ऑन द आई विल जस्ट रिपीट इट फॉर यू वन इज क्वांटिटेटिव एंड अदर वन इज क्वालिटेटिव क्वांटिटेटिव से क्या आ जाती है आपकी ऑब्जेक्टिविटी आ जाती है और क्वालिटेटिव से क्या आ जाती है आपकी सब्जेक्टिविटी आ जाती है बट वी कांट से कि जी दिस क्वांटिटेटिव इज बेटर देन क्वालिटेटिव और वाइस वर्सा बिकॉज़ दोनों 
जो मेथड्स हैं उनकी क्या है अपनी स्ट्रेंथ्स हैं अपनी उसकी वीकनेसेस हैं एंड नाउ व्हेन वी आर एनालाइजिंग टूल एनालाइजिंग टूल में हम क्या करते हैं देयर आर वैरायटी ऑफ टूल्स जो कि प्लानर्स यूज करते हैं सबसे पहले हम एनालाइज करते हैं कि हमने किस एरिया को एनालाइज करना है ठीक है टूल्स दैट हेल्प टू एनालाइज द एरिया अगर आप नॉर्दर्न एरियाज में जा रहे हो अगर आप कोस्टल एरियाज में जा रहे हो अगर आप डेजर्ट में जा रहे हो अगर आप प्लेन एग्रेरियन फील्ड्स में जा रहे हो तो आपका एनालाइजिंग टूल क्या होगा नाउ अ वेरी कॉमन टेक्निक इज बिंग यूज दैट इज द जीआईएस। हम जियोग्राफिक इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम को यूज करते हैं एंड वी स्टार्ट डिवेलपिंग दीज प्रोटोकॉल्स नाउ जी से क्या होता है आ, इसकी कंट्रोवर्सी भी चल रही है लेकिन नाउ डेज आपकी जो मॉडर्न रिसर्च हो रही है मोस्ट पीपल यूज दिस जीआईएस डाटा अब जीआईएस डाटा सैटेलाइट से आप इमेज ले लेते हो आपको लोगों को पता चल जाता है आपको डेमोग्राफी का पता चल जाता है यू एवरीथिंग एंड व्हाट यू डूइंग यू आर एनालाइजिंग इट अगर मैंने किसी फॉरेस्ट को करना मैं फॉरेस्ट से सर्वे तो नहीं करना चाहूँगा एक्सक्यूज मी ट्री ए वन वर यू बॉर्न हाउ ओल्ड आर यू एवरी थिंग ऑल दैट काइंड ऑफ स्टाफ इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो वहाँ पर मुझे क्या चाहिए आई नीड समाइज टूल विच कैन एक्चुअली टेल मी के भी प्रॉब्लम क्या है सेकेंड वन इज माई इम्प्लीमेंटेशन टूल्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन टूल्स में क्या होता है दैट दीज आर द ऑप्शन जेनरली अवेलेबल फॉर कॉन्क्रीट मेजर्स एमिंग एट सस्टेनेबल नेचुरल रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट एंड डेवलपमेंट लिखा हुआ जी कॉन्टोर प्लोइंग आपके नेचुरल रिसोर्स में ये वाला टूल है जो कि हम यूज करते हैं फॉर द सेक ऑफ इन द एग्रीकल्चर सो इम्प्लीमेंटेशन टूल्स में जब आप उसको यूज कर रहे हो प्लान को अब आपने क्या करना है इम्प्लीमेंट करना है तो देन वी स्टार्ट यूजिंग द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन टूल देन वी हैव दिस प्लानिंग टूल्स फॉर डिसीजन मेकिंग प्लानिंग टूल्स फॉर डिसीजन मेकिंग में क्या होता है कि जो हम टूल्स यूज करते हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल पार्टिसिपेटिव लैंड यूज प्लानिंग दैट इज अ काइंड ऑफ टूल दैट वी आर यूजिंग इट पर्टिकुलरली फॉर डिसीजन मेकिंग सो इफ वी सम अप what we have already covered kyunki in the next lecture we are going to talk about a different array of uh, way lekin planning ka jo maine major aapko batana tha that is almost uh, covered phir hum aage ye baat kar sakte hain ki planning kitne kism ki hai ya kya hum karte hain now if i sum up planning ki agar hum importance ko dekhein planning is crucial नंबर टू प्लानर इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नंबर थ्री हाउ टू प्लान डिफरेंट मॉडल्स हमने पढ़े दो किस्म की बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट मॉडलिंग आ जाती है नंबर वन देर इज वन एजेंसी विच इज डूइंग द प्लानिंग नंबर टू आपकी क्या आ जाती है कि जी वेल वो प्लान करती है बट फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ पीपल but in case of number 2 what we are saying there is just two way traffic bounded rationality a communicative rationality people are talking with each other dialogue kar rahe because now they say that right now if you are doing the autocratic or you are authoritative model aapne banaya hua hai ki jo main keh raha hu you have to follow it it doesn't work anymore people are now well aware people have the information people want to be part of the planning process so therefore uh, people are important planners are important the planning process is important now all these stakeholders they have their own priorities people in the northern areas have their own priority people in the coastal areas have their own priority people in the cities have their own priorities people in the rural areas have own priorities everyone wants to have a good stand of living everyone have wants to have a health uh, good health everyone wants to have a maximum share of natural resources also yahan pe hamare planners aate hain which actually formulate the way which actually formulate a strategy in such a way it becomes a win win situation now in the win win situation uh, we talked about the two kinds of plans number one was central one one body वन एजेंसी नंबर टू इज योर पीपल योर पॉपुलेशन दे आर पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस अब इसमें कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज चलती रहती है कि जी विच मॉडल इज बेटर इफ यू आस्क मी पर्सनली आई थिंक इट जस्ट डिपेंड्स अपन द सिचुएशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल 
if you have a big participatory kind of planning model and everyone is participating, everyone is talking about it, number one, what is the cost? Number two, how much money will be consumed? Number th uh, three, cost ho gaya, money ho gi, lekin if the model if it does not respond to people's interest, planning has failed. The planner is not doing the job because it does not synchronize with people's need. So, kya karein? Let's go to the second model. Let's bring them on table. Participate. We have to make them participate. We have to tell them that we care for you and you have to give your input so that we can have a comprehensive, good planning framework. But if we start forcing them, remember that it might not even uh, lead to a very good situation and it might lead to a conflict. Conflict between the government, between the agency and the population. Conflict between within the population, intra intra-conflicts aapka start ho sakte hain. So therefore, it is very important to understand ke kis context ke andar hum planning apni ye kar rahe hain. Kis ke liye planning kar rahe hain. Aur hum kyun kar rahe hain. Now, uh, sometimes we say that uh, when you are doing the planning, try to develop the objectives which are following the SMART. Theek hai? Ab, I am not going to tell smart now, but what I want you to do is that if you know about it, that is planning. If we have smart objective, smart to follow, karte objective, hai, then I think we are on the same page. You are learning. But if you don't smart, ka nahi pata, I would say uh, open your computers, browse around, and type smart, and then you will say smart. Se kya banta hai? And that is basically uh, S. M A R T. No, I'm not telling you, but you have to find it. In this way, your learning is after the class, your learning is outside this video lecture also. So, in this way, we will learn more things. Now, uh, we talked about that you have to objectives. Now, objectives are not agency, but the objectives are not parties. But if you have to do the objectives, they will be more acceptable. Because we have to do the authoritatively. But we asked them, it was a mutual process, and then we started uh, talking about these uh, objectives. Now, after the setting up of objectives, then we, are, we talked about the alternatives. Alternatives kya hote hain? Ke these are the choices. If the choices are good, hai? if the choices are good, this ka hota hai, planning bhi thik honi chahiye. Aur inko, iske liye hum kaun sa quantitative tool sab se common use kar sakte hain? That is the benefit-cost ratio. Ke janab, aapne ye ye, uh, benefits kiye, aur ye hamari cost hai, Tell us where the differential is. If the benefits become greater than your cost, is our objective was good. Is our, uh, our objective is good. Is that we are actually looking for uh, to work with people. So people are important. The job of the planner is highly difficult. I am preparing you that once you become a planner and if you are doing planning in the right mode, in the right uh, form, then it will actually give you an internal satisfaction. But if you are not considering people's participation, if you do not listen to them, it might end up into a disaster. So planner's position is very challenging. Planner can't just sit on his chair and start uh, Google and bring out the documents and he has planned this long-term strategy. No, it's a long-term uh, thing and your future generations are dependent upon it. So, in this way, we had the last two models that the planner is suffering from or planner is working with this assumption that he is has bounded rationality or he is going to have a communicative rationality so therefore it becomes very important 
in terms of uh, the uh, planning process okay, our planner needs to be smart our planner needs to understand the situation where he is working there will be pressures on him okay, government kuch carry hai civil society kuch carry hai log kuch carry hai but again when we said that okay he is the person who mediate he is the person who has excellent communication skills he is the person who uh, what is it called who shares his idea and people ex uh, accept it so therefore it is a comprehensive process and every from a single individual from a teenage till a biggest agency may it be development may it be non development may it be defense everyone is involved in planning and in public policy in public administration this planning is highly important because without planning we can't achieve a single goal right now in terms of uh, these plans another differential point is some plans are short term and some plans are long term which is more fruitful for people you are right short term because people feel that we have uh, we planned this thing we have implemented it and now we have got the results ab the problem with the long term plan is as keynes used to say that uh, talk about short run because in the long run everyone is dead long run ke liye planning to kar li and that document has been prepared but don't you think changes aate ja rahe hain society ke andar economics ke andar technological changes social changes all these changes plan aapne ek saal pehle banaya tha and after 5 years do you think we can implement the same plan no so therefore jab humne incremental planning ki baat ki thi ki ji ab chota 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 karte rahe so that you can go for the bigger pie but if we are just talking about this one small one plan and we say it's black and white and we are never going to change it that may create a problem that may have some negative uh, issues uh, with reference to the policy making because aap jitni jaldi planning karoge utna hi bada disaster ho sakta lekin aap jitna aaram se cautiously uh, in a protected manner agar aap apna ye karte hain uh, jo planning karte hain it will help you so short term and versus long term they have both their pros and cons now uh further down the line jo humne next uh, classes mein padhna hai we will be talking about how water planning how soil planning land use planning us with climate change in may planning ka kya role hai and uh, if you haven't uh, studied the principles of management kindly uh, look into because a lot of management terms apart from natural resource uh, natural resources or environmental sciences they are included in this course and therefore you what you have to do is just read the lecture uh browse the newspaper what is happening in terms of this natural resource management at the moment and by the time you read it then you will see a very easy litmus test i always tell them either whatever i am teaching is it practical is it being used or it is just a utopian situation so listening to the lecture reading the notes and then doing a contemporary research doing the uh, reading on current issues that actually tell me either we are converging or we are diverging and then we understand ki whatever it's written it doesn't exist at all no it may exist at all it may exist it doesn't exist in the ideal form planning in usa versus planning planning in pakistan very different let's go to our neighboring countries planning in pakistan versus planning in india or planning in bangladesh again totally different form so planning will change its form planning in punjab versus planning in balochistan very different planner has to be good in order to give us a good plan people will talk participation hogi but the planner's job is to mediate them 
planner's job is to get the best results it is the planner's job to uh, develop a good plan in which all the communities are involved in which all the communities are happy that something is being done for us so therefore uh, planning ka jo module hai ya jo do lectures that i have finished now we will start talking about other contemporary stuff in the meantime keep reading the newspaper keep doing the good work and look forward to see you in lecture number 7 thank you very much